Okay, so we're gonna start right at the top of the song with that kind of crunchy, distorted riff. Um, so this is what it sounds like. <laughs> This is how you play. Um, what you're doing basically, we're in the key of B, and what we're doing, we're basically working our way up like a power chord shape, a B power chord shape. So this B is kind of happening throughout this whole riff, and we're alternating notes. So we start with two Bs, and then we hit an open D, and then a B, and then we drop our first finger down and get the E right above it. And then we play another B, remember the B kind of alternates throughout the whole riff, and then third fret with our middle finger play F, and then... one fret to an F sharp, so it sounds like this. And then we do the reverse. Like that. So we just kind of climb up with a B alternating almost every time, and then the fourth string notes are D, E, F, F sharp, and then the next measure is the same thing in reverse. B, F sharp, F, B, like that. time starts with two B's followed by an open D and then after that you've got the climb up and then the climb down all right so you're just kind of bouncing around that uh, that little pattern Up there. Um, and that's basically the main kind of driving force of the song. So um, the way I like to play it generally is pretty much using all downstrokes. You're free if you're comfortable to do whatever kind of picking pattern you want, but I recommend using downstrokes because it gives a more um, slightly more aggressive tone. <laughs> trick to help it seem more authentic is when you hit the F, give it a little bit of vibrato. Because you're kind of hanging on it, and it's a really tense note, and you want to kind of emphasize that tension, so give it a little wiggle, put some vibrato on there. got the main riff so coming up next is going to be the verse which are just some kind of uh, chord shapes that bounce around pretty uh pretty simple stuff and then uh, later on we're getting into some more licks so don't go anywhere <laughs> 